Happy Profit First Allocation Day. And today is a lot more fun because it's also Profit First Distribution Day. So we've reached the end of a quarter. We're starting a new one. And this is the time where we take money out of the profit account and put it in our own bank account. So we are getting a bonus today. That's very exciting. Now, for some of you, if you're first starting out with Profit First, it might not be feel that exciting because I remember my first Profit First distribution. I was like, all this work and this is what I get. I think I went to like um, Dos Bros or something with the amount of money that I got from my first Profit First distribution. And that was because I was do putting in 1% and also wasn't charging enough for my services. So I didn't, I was doing the whole back and forth thing, putting money into profit, taking money out. And honestly, the first quarterly distribution that came around, I think I didn't even have a distribution to give myself. So that was really disheartening because I was doing the whole back and forth thing. And I think I mentioned in a previous video that I almost quit profit first because I was doing it wrong. And also I wasn't charging the right prices, but we've been talking about getting your prices right. And once you start getting closer to that and you're putting more money, allocating more money into your profit account, then it's going to feel a little bit better. But if today's one of your first distribution days and you've got like a tiny amount in there, get your favorite pumpkin spice, whatever, and treat yourself um, and enjoy it and just be like, okay, this is the first, but we have bigger dreams for next quarter and the quarter after that and the quarter after that. So of course, I think um, my and first actual distribution was like, double digits. And then I was like, okay, we can get into the hundreds. <laughs> we can get to triple digits here. Um, and then thousands. And so this is where we go from here. So next goal is tens of thousands, right? For me. And I'm also still not maxing out that profit first allocation. So today is also the day to nudge that number up. So if you're just starting with Profit First, you know, Mike says to start with 1% allocation into that Profit First account. And here's the interesting part or the things in order of importance from my perspective. And I was given this advice by my friend Christine Era with Core Growth Strategies and the author of Profit First for a Lawn Care Landscape. She reminded me that it's really important to first cover taxes to make sure you're not caught in a situation where you're ending up having to pay payments um, and get yourself really in a debt kind of situation where you're indebted to the IRS. There's money that should be um, allocated for the IRS and it's best to go ahead and put that aside. So 15% until you can get to that 15% number for taxes then you can leave profit around 1% because you got to pay the tax man. It's actually their money um, versus what you're trying to pay yourself in a quarterly bonus. And like Mike says, it's the cons consistent practice of allocating money. So 1% to you into profit first, and then keep moving the tax number up every quarterly distribution. If you're at 1% for taxes, move that to 2%, 3%, 4% until you can get that number to 15%. Once you've maxed out your taxes, it's time to concentrate on maxing out your profit first. And that's where I am because um, depending on what um, revenue range you're in, dictates how much money you should be putting into your profit account. But until you get to that max number of 5%, 10% um, into your profit account, then you just keep working on that. And sometimes it feels like 1% doesn't feel that heavy when it's just 1%. If you get into a quarter and things are already tight and you're like, how am I going to move this another percent up? Start with half a percent. Just move it, nudge it another half percent in the right direction. And then you can um, start reaping the rewards every quarter. So the thing to do today is first celebrate your success. So get yourself 
a pumpkin spice, whatever, put that money in your account, take your bonus. Um, and if you're not at a point where you can get a bonus yet, just know that that is coming. If you're practicing profit first, you are going to get to a point where you, you have a quarterly bonus that gets distributed to your account, especially if you're increasing that profit allocation amount. Um, then you are definitely going to get into a profit distribution day. And so get excited about that, but celebrate your success. And success can also look like just being consistent with allocating money to your profit first accounts. That was my very first success. Okay, I'm continually putting money in, even though a lot of times I was taking it out, but I, I'm practicing for when I can. And the next project that comes in, I'm gonna get my pricing a little bit better. I'm gonna be calculating on the right number with profit first, and then I'm going to be able to put money into that profit account without taking it out and into the tax account without taking that money out. So uh, congratulate yourself if you've been practicing consistently putting money into those accounts, even if you've had to take it out, because the practice is the important first step. Next, celebrate the fact that next quarter you're going to have a distribution, even if it's five or $10 or $20, whatever it is. Celebrate the fact that you are making progress and that you're going to have a quarterly distribution. And third, nudge that profit and tax account in the right direction. Focus on taxes first and getting that to 15% of your revenue, and then concentrate on your profit account. Nudge that up half a percent, 1%. Um, as you are going, you're gonna keep increasing. And like I said, I still haven't maxed out my profit allocations yet. So I'm still nudging my profit allocation up as I go. So tax accounts maxed out for me. I'm nudging my profit account up in the right direction. And then you're going to get a distribution. Now you can do whatever you want with that distribution. It's October. So it might be a great idea to start planning for Christmas. Maybe there's something you want to do around your house, a renovation or buy um, a fun outdoor item. Um, or cover a necessary expense that was unexpected, which is exactly what I'm doing this time because I had to get a big, big car repair. So the good news is that um, I took that money out of savings. I had that because of Profit First, but now I'm going to be refilling my savings account mostly for my profit distribution this time. And then I might have a little le money left over to do something fun. But do try to, even if you've got debt to pay off or you have an unexpected expense like I um, have this time, try to do at least one little fun thing that you wouldn't have necessarily done for yourself. Get your toes done, like something to celebrate, to reward yourself. Um, use some of that money to pay off debt. Mike says pay off your debt with your money and until you pay off your debt, then don't be spending it elsewhere, but I definitely feel like you should take some of that money and do something fun with because you've got to feel a reward for putting in all this hard work, not just the reward of paying off debt, although that is rewarding after you're finished, um, but it can feel disheartening if you don't do anything to celebrate. So do something special with your profit allocate, I mean, profit distribution and celebrate the win that you got a distribution that you're making progress, that you're being consistent in this practice. Celebrate yourself now is the time to do that. Um, so those are the things that you should be doing. Up those allocations, make sure that you celebrate and enjoy the fact that you're making progress in this profit first journey. All right, that is it for today. Take your distribution and congratulate yourself. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.